Oh my god, guys, welcome back. We are playing the Live the Dream Cube. Or at least we're attempting to. As soon as it fires. You know what I mean? As soon as this bad boy fires off, we are gonna live we're gonna live we are gonna live the dream. What kind of dream are we living here, boys? Parallel lives? Oh, okay. Brash taunter? What does Ignite the Future do? Excel the top three. Oh, yeah, this is the weird one. Where it's like... Like, it's four mana, and you can play the spells until the end of your next turn. Okay, that's not that's not as bad. I like a Maze Mind Tome. I like a Yarok. Yeah, this is definitely a fancy alternate art cube if I ever saw one. You like Tome here? Huh. I don't hate it. I kind of like Yarok. Tome is a safe pick. I'll take a Tome. I do like a good... I like a good ma maze minder. Ethereal Valkyrie. What the shit is this card and what set is it in? 4-4 four, four for 6. Whenever it enters a battlefield or attacks, draw a card. Then exile a card from your hand face down. It becomes foretold. It's foretold cost is its mana cost reduced by 2. See, I'm tempted to take this just so I can play with it. When it enters the battlefield or attacks, draw a card, then exile a card from your hand. So you're netting a card. That seems good. This card seems much better than Cloud Blazer. But I'm pretty sure you guys are just memeing, so. Yeah, I'm going to take this and try this new nonsense. Oh, I love a Nethroi. We could be Esper and only... Like, you never want to not mutate this. It's a commander set. I understood why you wouldn't know it. Oh, Brett. I'm gonna chat with some of you guys about woodworking in the in the Discord. So I'm about to I'm about to pick up a circular saw. Um What is this son of a biscuit, dude? Destroy all creatures, return a creature up into the graveyard this way to the battlefield under your control. Seven mana, huh? It's pretty cool though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna take the windswept heath. I still wanna be able to play my spells. Look at this Sahili. Bramble Sovereign, Tristani Summoner, Gruel Signet. Golgari Signet that is completely off colors. Debtor's Nell. Savai Trion, which we can get with Windswept Teeth. None of these cards are super poppy for me. Nothing's popping out here. Debtor's Nell is pretty cool. Seven mana. Is this Spy Trial? We just keep it open. And the Heath Ledger. Wow, dude. Wow. I'm going to take Trium. I like my good manas. I like good mana. This guy's in my queue, but I'm kind of iffy on him. I also have some Tropical Trail Mix. You can't see it, though, because it's really green. The bag is. So... I'm like, I'm all about some some dehydrated pineapple freeze-dried. It's not freeze-dried. It's just regular dehydrated. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Savannah seems good here. Hmm. I just want to take this Apex Devastator to play it. This is a card that's also in my cube. So I feel like mine is like halfway between the Live the Dream Cube and the Vintage Cube. And I kind of just want to take Apex Devastator and play a deck that can cast Apex Devastator. Is that... Is that weird? Oh, maybe we got Sower with the new art. With that uh, Seb McKinnon secret layer art. That's pretty sweet. I kind of just like Wall of Omens here. 
I mean, Apex Devastator, if we, if we exile it with the Ethereal Valkyrie, we have a... Okay, Joda's actually real interesting. I think we're Joda-ing. 10 mana card, casting it with Joda. Isolated Chapel, I like it. Comes into play untapped with all three of these. Deal. Try Joda, please. Already, I did it. I, I already did it. It's already done. I like, I kind of like, I don't like Brash Taunter, I don't think. I don't think we're parallel lives -ing. How many times are you going to say the this time? I don't. I don't want to talk about it. Oh man, Worm Coil came back. Also, Celestia Sanctuary. And if we took that Brash Taunter, we could also have Boros Reckoner and be setting ourselves up real sweetly for, uh. I think it's Worm Coil here. Real sweetly for, um. The Blasphemous Act. Oh, let's take Nethroi. Send me an angel right now. Right now. I like a Gruel Turf. I'll take a Gruel Turf. Dude, I can't have a bag of, like, dried fruit next to me or else I will just go crazy. Here we got a raisin, which is kind of a dried grape. Not really tropical, though. We got this pineapple, this uh, banana. And then, two what I believe are papayas. Hmm. Hmm. Gigantha in the main deck just casts our Jodas, right? It is Papaya. Nailed it. Oh my god, these lands. Got another Triome, got a Breeding Pool, a Tropical Island. Rakdos Carnarium. There's the Blasphemous Act. Oh my god, we could have literally had it all. Send me an angel. Wow. Also, Boros Signets could be just decent. Um, I think we want I think we want Tropical Island. We already have Windswept Heath. I guarantee at least one of these lands will come back. Ooh, I like a Marsh Flats. Oh, also a Bloodstain Mire. Which gets more? Bloodstained Mire gets just Triome. Marsh Flats gets Triome and Savannah. I kind of like Marsh Flats here. Yeah, we literally passed a Boros Reckoner. We passed a Boros Reckoner and um, a Brash Taunter. Boring Clex. I think we just want the Maelstrom Wander, right? Actually, it's funny because after I got the Boros Reckoner, I just messaged Kerwin and I was like, hey, yo, I'm live. Because a lot of times I, I, I will be live and he won't know that I'm live. 4-3 Menace for 4. Whenever you sack a creature, you may pay Demir if you do draw a card. Sack a creature, it gains indestructible until end of turn. I'm pretty sure I'm just taking Maelstrom Wander here. Oh, I like Svella. Svella! Although I can't make out what's going on in this art. Can I get that preview pane? I don't think I can, actually. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right. I think it's just Rakdos Signet here. I do like Chulane a lot. I mean, I think we want some cheaper things. We want to be able to cast our stuff uh, before turn four. 
Zorius Chancery. Chancy! Re, Chancy, re. So Gigantha just says tap this, cast anything if you have Joda in play. That's kind of cool. It's just a Zorius Chancery, maybe? It feels good. I do like this Ugin. I'm taking the big Chancery. I'm taking a big chance. Uri. Oh, look at this. Cat Chariot. Um, Aminatau's Augury seems bananas in this format. Yeah, we're definitely taking that. Big Scrubs! Which we can get with Marsh Flats and Windswept Heath. Maelstrang, Archangel actually seems like a perfect payoff for this deck, though. Yeah, I'm going to take the Maelstrom Wander. Maelstrom Archangel, rather. <laughs> and that's all this is just Maelstrom.deck, right? <sighs> Maren is actually real sweet. I don't know if we're going to have the creatures for it. Actually, what do we got now? Eight creatures already? Yeah, we got creatures for it. Sure. I'll take a Maren of Clan Melnatoth. Clan Neltoth? Maren of Nel... I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. So only, only to cast creatures, which is actually fine, because a lot of our threats... All of our threats almost are creatures. Yeah, I'm going to take this guy. Let's take a Nahiri. Or an Atal... Yeah, it's got to be Nahiri. Nahiri's just a better answer to things. I'll take a Vorinclex. I don't know if we're going to play a Vorinclex. Our mana's also pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 good lands so far. Boros Signet looks good here. That was like 40 minutes ago. Good grief. Spell seems fine. I'll just take Cavalier. I don't even know what this guy does. Holy smokes. Bell, Bor Bell Borka. Note the converted mana cost of each card as it's put into exile. Bell Borka. Power is equal to the greatest number noted for for this turn. The beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. Why would they... That card seems incredibly complicated. I do think it's the Triome. Oh, look at this secret layer chromatic lantern. It's very good, really. Oh, I guess it does exile a card and you can play it that turn. I stopped reading because I was like... God, there's so many lands and I'm loving it. I'm here for it. I think I might die, though. I think our deck is going to just lose. Is that is that negative? I really love this has been updated to have uh, what are they called? I can't think of the set. Call time cards in it. I do think it's K Command. I was just trying to consider if we could have like Angel of Despair in here. Oh, I kind of like Beanstalk Giant here. Oh, a Sika could be good too. Other legendary creatures you control have Vigilance and Tap. Actually, a Sika seems perfect for this deck, right? I mean, it not only adds mana, but it turns Joda, uh, Maren, Nethroi, 
Gigantha, all into mana creatures. Svela. Oh, God. Yeah, we're taking this thing. Plus, the flip side is a five mana card. I kind of want Azoria Signet. We have very few two drops, and I think it's better than Jungle Shrine here. So I'm going to take that. Man, the uh, the Shards of Alara Trilands just do not hold up compared to Triomes anymore. Could just be E2 Extinction. We don't have a ton of removal. We have Nahiri and Scene. Wow. You fucking, tra you chat traitors. E2 Extinction. It's either E2 Extinction. I think it's E2 Extinction here. I think it could be Signet, but I think I just want the, the, the removal here. Oh, this seems good. Do we? We don't have a a red, white one. Greven Predator Captain. Um, I think it might be. Is it Starnham Unleashed or Sacred Foundry? Foundry is great. We need four more playables, and we. Oh, we actually could just play this guy if you guys, if you guys like him so much. We also play Cavalier of Night. I mean, you definitely have cards in the sideboard. Treasure map's also an option, which I think we could probably play pretty easily. When Frank Sinatra sings stormy weather, the flies and the spiders get along together. Oh, Genesis Ultimatum? <sighs> now you're talking my language. Oh, st we got a stuffy doll too? Well, we're taking Genesis Ultimatum. Do you guys pronounce it Genesis or Genesis? I don't know how to pronounce it, so I can't tell you. I knew it was Genesis. That's why they gave me a degree. They're like, he has insight into words. I spit. That is unparalleled. It's like nothing we've ever seen before. Faber Elder is actually pretty good. Hmm. Take Marshall Coup, I guess. Geonesis. <laughs> Whatever, weirdo. <laughs> I'll just take Champion Woods here. This seems like a solid 23. And we also have two Bounce Lands. But because our deck seems very, very mana intensive, I kind of just want to play... Uh, I still just want to play 20, 23, even with the Bounce Lands. 20 through 17, rather. Well, we certainly aren't living my dream. Wow. Wow. Hey, buddy, get your own dream. Can I borrow a feeling? All right, we need one cut. It's probably Champion of Wits. Do we have anything to get things out of the graveyard? Ooh, we do have Netheroy. Actually, I kind of like that. Oh, Netheroy. We can we can actually discard Apex Devastator and get it back with Netheroy. We're not casting it, though, so that seems stupid. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, We need one cut. Hmm. 
Might be Marin of Clan Neltoth. Okie dokie. God, this is my least favorite part. My my most favorite part of playing decks like this is playing decks like this. My least favorite part is finagling the mana base. Oh dear. Okay, let's get a notepad out. White, blue, black, red, green. Okay. White sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Doubt we need a planes. Blue, we have one, two. Three, four. Okay. Black. We have... One, two, three, four. Finagle the... Cr I am. I'm finagling for, for sure, dude. Uh, red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Green, we have one, two... Three, four, five, six. Okay. White, we have six. Don't think we need a white source. Blue, we have ten. Let's see how much let's see how much extra room we have. We have seven mana. Okay, good. Seven lands to Okay. So probably want three here, let's say maybe. Black, we only have five. So one. Green, I'd add four. Three and probably one here. So let's go eight. Yeah, this is or uh, eight total. So two, so three, one, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> God, I know what this is gonna be. Oh, I didn't actually know what that was gonna be. <laughs> so, that was pretty good though. All right. Oh wow. So. Two, one, one, and then two. The only good thing they were off was on here. I would rather have a third blue so that we have seven total blue. Because it is our second most represented color. And I didn't count signets because, well, who's got the time, you know? Boom. Boom, boom. When Michael Biscuit sings stormy weather, we play all the creatures and the spells together. Oh, this can get a green. So we have a turn two map into a turn three Fabro Elder. Oh, we're not on the play. Well, that's sad. We're playing against Pizza Maker. 515. Are they not going to... What's happening right now? Okie dokie. Play. Gotti. Treasure map into Elder into Joda. Can this get a blue source? This is why we can take a, take a snapshot of our lands, kids. We have red and white. No, we don't have white. Huh. Can't get a Ketria Triome. Oh, they foretold something. Well, that's okay. We just need a blue source. So let's just... Hmm. Well...
I'm going to eat a small sack of corn for dinner. That's pretty cool. Way to go, buddy. Otherwise known as Cornwit. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I like an oracle. So you got Ancient Nix. Nix Bloomington. I don't think we can get a blue source with this. We don't have anything blue black. We don't have anything white blue. <laughs> if you only eat corn, do you only poop corn? I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a god. I'm a grown ass man. I don't know how poop works. And the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. Fabaro Elder making it through. When you're coming home, and I don't know when. I think our hand is pretty stacked right now. So this guy's now 3 3, so we can bash. We can activate Nahiri. We can tap Elder for 3, play Maze Mind Tome, and activate Treasure Map. That seems like a good turn. When you're coming home, I can move no wind. We can get together then. You know we'll have a good time then. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I will keep it. And I will discard... We're going to discard Joda here. Maybe. Yes. Guess we discard... It's one of these two, right? I don't want to discard my land. This land doesn't actually help us, though, right? I'm not crazy, right? I think it is the land, actually. We have Maze Mind Tome and Treasure Map and Nahiri. I don't think we're short on um, ways to get lands. So. I know we'll have a good time then. A Wombat's cube is poop is cube shaped? Which cube? The Vintage Cube? Wombat poop. Oh my god. What? Guys. How? That's wild, dude. I definitely googled wombat poop and I was definitely pleasantly surprised. Uh, wow, anointed procession on top. I think they're missing land drops, otherwise they would have played another land last turn. You know we'll have a good time then. I mean, we can just exile this parallel live, so I think we're actually comically ahead here. I'm also pretty sure I'm going to activate this during upkeep. Because we have six mana here. We need a blue source. Yeah. Polychronos. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. We would need seven mana to kill this, too. I think we're just going to bottom this. We've got a land? Okay. Do we need a blue source? I just want, I just want a blue source. Do, 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 do. 
in the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. I don't know why this song is stuck in my head, guys. There's got to be a reason, but. Yeah, there was definitely an article that said scientists figure out why wombat poop is cube shaped. And I was like, good for them, you know? Um, let's draw a card. So we don't have a, we have a green. Yeah, we'll just keep trying them up. So we have access to five mana right now. Oh, baby. I think we're just casting that guy, right? Remember that time I was like, we'll never just cast the Nethroi. But sometimes. Or, next turn we could discard Maelstrom Archangel. Yeah, we're going to discard Maelstrom Archangel next turn. Get it back with Nethroi as we evolve onto this thing. Mutate. Metamorph. With a little elbow grease, human poop can be shaped, cube shaped too. Gross. Also, if we put a good card in our graveyard that we can get back. um, Yeah, that can go in the graveyard. Activated this. All right, we are good to go. We are good to go. Oh, we just won the game. Okey-do. Oh, we had blue source. All right, well, this is a... That was a game. I, I don't really have anything to sideboard. <laughs> Little boy blue in the Michael B2. I don't know what to do with this hand. We got five. We got a four drop and a five drop. I'll keep it. Music manly. Drive safe, buddy. Ooh, that's nice. If we can hit one more land in the next two turns, we got to turn three Nahiri, turn four Gigantha. Joda, and then either one of these can be cast off of Gigantha. Oh boy, I'm getting excited. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. The moon is right. What was the what was the foretold foretold card last game? Did we see it? Did they play it? Um, it says they conceded the game. I drew my card. It didn't. Did it not show me? Did it like flip up and I had to look at it? That's weird. Usually it says it in the chat. I will. I, I don't think I'll ever be able to get away from uh, wonderful Christmas time. I'm so sorry, guys. I know it's February, but I don't have any control over it. Land. Oh, love it. Love it. Want more of it. 
simply. We need one more one more land to hit Gigantha or a G Oh, I guess we could have played Jota this turn, huh? Red, blue, white. I think without another land. I think we're discarding the Algory. Oof. Don't like that. We have two more cards to hit. We can also just play Jota next turn. It's totally fine. I think I'm just more excited about Gigantha because it lets us... It gives us the exact mana that Jota wants. That's pretty good. Vigilance is pretty bad. I think that's just surprisingly good. Okay. Okay, we're on track. I think we just have to play Jota here. And then next turn we can kind of go ham. Just don't kill my Jota. Don't kill my Joda. Let it be. I mean, they're just going to kill Nahiri, right? Is that right? Okay. All right, and I kind of want to block, but the best Beatles song? God. That's a good question. I think it really, I mean, like, I don't think there's a best Beatles song. I think it definitely depends on mood. God, don't kill my Jota. Okay, okay. Okay, we're going to Apex Devastator, bitches. Ooh, let's see it. You love to see it? This is it. This is the dream, right? Pelucranos. Get him. Cascade number dose. Ethereal Valkyrie. Oh my god. Trigger. Draw a card. Put a card in our hand over there. I think it's just Gigantha. I don't really care about that. And it's the only one that really, like, um has a has a discount right like none of these are getting discounted i don't want to play this i don't want to cast this i want to mutate this okay this is your guy oh, 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 oh. <laughs> now they all have haste they all have haste <laughs> Please don't concede. I'm begging you. I'm absolutely begging you not to concede. Worm coil. <laughs> this is things that is amazing. Oh my god. And we still get one more hit. It's gonna be a Svella. Okay, this stupid idiot. You got it. Oh my god, dude. Did we play a land yet? 
No. Because we had five last turn. This is wild. Oh, we just win the match. What? You're really not going to let me... You could... Okay, so you could block? <sighs> wow. That's insane. Like, you could block Joda and kill it, because I think that's important. Um, this guy's a 4-4. You can block that and kill it, and you could block the Apex Devastator with this guy. So then you only take, what, 7, 12... You go one. No, you guess you die from this guy. That was pretty good. Yes, the green guy has a good ability, but we don't have 11 mana, so... Wow, that was a frigging game, dude. Oh, boy. Can someone clip that whole series? Because that was friggin' amazing. That was incredible. Apex Devastator into Maelstrom Wanderer. Wow. This hand seems fine, actually. Uh, we also have all of our colors, so we can actually play this Asika as a, as the prismatic bridge, which is pretty nuts. The moon is right. We do need another blue source. No, we don't. We're not, I was gonna say another green source, but we don't because we're not casting it. As it's kind of obnoxious, but. We do get to play it on turn three and play treasure map. So let's do that. So turn three, we're going to play Triumph and treasure map. Turn four, we're going to play uh, the Prismatic Bridge, which is pretty sweet. Are we living the dream yet? Oh my God, Alan. You don't even know, buddy. You don't even know. Did anyone clip it? Oh my god, Brett, is this the clip? This is amazing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> now they all have haste. They all have haste. I'm gonna bottom this. When does this when does this go off? At the beginning of your upkeep. Sure, we can do that. Please don't concede. I'm begging you. I'm absolutely begging you not to concede. Worm coil! <laughs> Things are just amazing. Oh man, that's a that clip is wild. That's going right on the Twitter. Fuck, really? You have Night of Autumn? <sighs> wow, that's a that's really unfortunate. I switched over to clip it as soon as you hit him. <laughs> Love it. That's really unfortunate that you would do that to me. I cannot believe you've done this. One, two, three, four. Joda. And next turn we just get to cast Maelstrom Wanderer. That's pretty good. Unless you have Night of Autumn for creatures. Oh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight total mana that they can use here. That's pretty good. That seems fine. The mood is right. 
to live the dream. Don't kill my Joda. You'll make me scream. Uh, whenever a lantern is battlefield under control, you may draw a card. That seems fine. I actually like that card a lot. Uh, do I like Colagon's command here? Kind of, yeah. So one, two, three, four, green. Cast you, cast you for free. Cast you, everybody gets that haste. Haste, haste, haste. Um. But do 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 do. What do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh. Huh. I definitely want to exile one of these two, I think. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If they want to block here, that's totally fine. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I figured they'd do. So they get no value off of that guy. Both of these net two mana, right? But... That guy can untap any land, so it can give them double white, it can give them four here. This guy's ability is not super relevant. It costs 11, and they only have one, two, three, four, five. So, that seems fine. They're also at eight, and we have eight in the air, so that seems pretty good. Yep, yeah, that's just fine. You got it. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So just to be clear, we can get back Maelstrom Wander with Kolagon's command and then kill them. <laughs> one, two, three, four, right? And then we have a return a creature card. Yeah, that should be game. Although if we don't hit a creature, actually, it's not game. We actually should have just dealt two to their face. Let's see what we would have hit. We can't. Okay. <laughs> Our deck seems pretty amazing. I'm pretty thrilled with it right now. Oh, man. We'd be cascading all day, boy. Um, I'll keep this. Champion of Wits is pretty good when you have Gruel Turf. We are on the draw, though. That's... Okay, let's do that. So now we can go... Treasure Map... I just walked into the kitchen to find my boyfriend shoveling yogurt into his mouth straight from the pint with his hands because he accidentally ate one of my hot wings we ordered last night. Mango habanero snow slow burn is no joke. Okay, that's actually pretty hilarious. <laughs> Gotti. 
Wow, that's also se severe desperation. That's when you really got to get that that get that burn under control. Interesting, they're paying life here. B pod. I want a Nethroi on top. Kind of, because we can just discard some things. Not really, though. Maybe. It's just a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, I'll leave that on top, sure. We'll Gruel Turf. Bounce this guy. We couldn't play Elder this turn because we don't have a White Source, so the only thing we can play is Champion. There are like four spoons on the floor. <laughs> well, that's the important part. Oh boy. Let's champion. We can get rid of forest pretty easily here. I guess I can get rid of both forests? Sure. Replay the swamp. I guess we could have also played Pelucronus. There's a lot of things we can do. Personally, I like being able to go treasure map, treasure map. And then we'll have one, two, three. The land we play next turn is four, five, six, seven. So we could technically net around to this guy. We don't really have great targets, though. Maybe what we should have done is discard both of these. Oh, wow. Both of these are zero in the graveyard. Wait, what happened? Oh, they put that in their hand. Sure. Let's leave that on top. That could be sweet. One, two, three, four. This is five. We still don't have a white source, though. All right. I mean, next turn we can we can augury, so that's pretty cool. We'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fingers crossed that that does what we want it to do. So let's see what we would have hit. We would have drawn that, probably put it on the bottom. Drawn this. Cast Augury, top eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can cast any card type, right? So we would cast, what was the last one? Shaman, don't care about that. Creature, land, artifact, planeswalker, sorcery. Oh boy. I mean, none of these matches seem close, so. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. The moon is right. And do -do -do -ch 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 -ch. What's on the agenda? Some Tibble's trickery? No. No. Super Fritz, why what? I mean, like, guys, it's not like the first time I've sang it. You guys are being real babies right now. This hand seems fine. Keep it. Push it to the limit. I've sang like 17 different songs here. Oh, we got paired down? Well, not necessarily. They're 1 0. So we're both undefeated. Boo -loo -loo -loo. Why do you keep getting these dumb songs trapped in my head? Because you suck.
Welcome to Gaudy Town. <laughs> Population. Your daddy. Okay, so we need another blue source or another red source. Alternatively, we could just play Chancery and discard something, like this forest, probably. So our, ideally, we're going this guy into some nonsense. Also, we have Champion of Wits. We can champion here. We don't need to. We don't need to rush this thing out. We can go fourth turn, third turn, champion into something else. We're, this isn't ramping us, so we're still gonna have to play three drop, four drop, five drop, six drop, seven drop, eight drop. You get it. Wow, another Burling Pod match, huh? Okay. Oh, Fabro Elder actually is interesting here. Yeah, I think it's just Fabro Elder here. It ramps us by two. And also, if we play Joda next turn, it ramps us by four. If we can hit an untapped land... We can actually go Joda into Nahiri. That would be pretty sick. I guess it has to be an untapped blue or an untapped red land. The last four letters of a Paul McCartney song's URL actually Paul. Where are you looking? Oh my god. That is interesting. It's a capital P no less. I wonder if that has to be deliberate, right? Oh, uh, whenever a creature deals excess non combat damage. Damn it. Damn it. So we still have five mana here. And we can still bounce a land. Oh, we can actually play Gigantha. And then Joda next turn will have a million mana. That's actually pretty sweet. So we can go one, two, three, four, five big Giganths. Play this, bounce our forestos. And pass it up. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen mana. If we play Joda, we have fourteen mana to work with. We can play Joda for four. We can actually go Joda, Nahiri, any five mana spell we might pick up. That's actually a lot. Oh boy, things are happening here. You may put a human creature card onto the battlefield. Tapped and attacking. Sounds good. Whenever a creature and opponent... Oh, okay, they whiffed. Whenever a creature or planeswalker an opponent controls deals is dealt excess non-combat damage. Okay, that's fine. It's actually pretty annoying. Five. It's still got to be this guy.
they have to birthing pod right like like we can still go joda into into five drop right this like we have joda mana right here we play joda anything else is basically free so we're just hoping for like apex devastator right elder did make red that's why it was three i was counting just three and i was counting just four if we played the joda first so they get a four drop here i guess we're hoping for like no ravenous chupacabra because that sets us back real far that's fine okay five six what is this i mean i can't be spent to pay generic mana that's fine i don't care about that four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and we have five six seven eight nine ten we're one mana shy <sighs> that is rough I mean, we could play Pelucranos. Four, five, six, seven. Could play Champion of Wits. We could play Champion Pelucranos, activate Pelucranos. No, we can't. Yes, no, we can't. <laughs> Ugh, God, this is actually tricky. I feel like we kind of have to kill. We don't have a second black, so we can't activate Pelucranos. That's unfortunate. Oh, could we go champion Netheroy? One, two, three, four. No, because the no, because we only have nine without using. Oh, I, I, I'm literally, <laughs> yes, I, I, I know, buddy. Um. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10. But without having a blue to use, or without having a, a red to use on something, it's not great. Oh, man. The, the... We get Fabro Elder back and nothing else. I think we kind of have to champion of wits here. This is five, six, seven, nine, seven, twelve. Does that do it? I don't even know, dude. This is a this is a big turn. I mean, you, we can Jota and Polyk, but we can't we can't activate Polychronos as well, which is the big problem. I just don't think that's super impressive, especially when they have Rankle out. And they have Birthing Pod, which is kind of bad. I kind of wanted to hear you that. <sighs> this is actually really, um, this is really frustrating. Like, I kind of feel like it's Nahiri, get rid of Birthing Pod. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Hmm. Three, four, five, six, four, five, six. Oh, we're one shy of doing all of those things. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, you might just... I think it's got to be this guy, actually. Sure. <sighs> One mana shot, huh? I mean, I guess we're hoping, like, their two cards aren't good and their Winota hit isn't good. Oh, God.
Yep. I feel like they hit multiple things and they're just trying to figure out which one to pick. Captivating crew is pretty insane. Wow. I guess they can only use it as a sorcery right now, so that's pretty okay. And Yogmoth. Wow. Wow. So what? We got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> well, that was an amazing hit. You had exactly enough there. Good job. Let's bring in Seize instead of Champion because I want the treasure. And let's bring in Marshall Koo because this is a deck that has a bunch of creatures, it seems like. <sighs> let's take out Augury, I think. Man, our first loss. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. Oh, we're definitely keeping this. <laughs> this is actually pretty good. We can go turn three C's into turn four Joda. Turn five Prismatic Bridge. Actually, it's possible we turn four Prismatic Bridge if we hit a black source or a white source. <sighs> Rank Lee has the same name as you, minus a couple of letters, and he's coming for the rest. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Probably going to discard Shaman here. Oh, I like it. All right, so actually, I can also see us discarding mountain. Well, we want it. We want to hit lands, but we do need actually we need two lands now because I realize this is going to produce red and green, and we have double red, which does not help us cast. Actually, do we just play this and play Worm Coil or Gigant the next turn? Probably that seems better. pretty good if we get a white mana followed by a black mana i think we're doing it jamming the shaman that is technically a black mana so if we have four mana the only thing we can play is spoil but we can do that anyway with this so let's play this um play mountain Spoil. Let's discard. <sighs> we couldn't have played a Seeker. We couldn't have played Joint again. We, we we can play. This is the only thing. This is the only thing we can play actually. So, um, I don't feel terrible about this decision. Although, if we don't draw anything, I want to be able to play Gigant the next turn or Worm Coil. One, two, three, four, five. I think Jode is actually the weakest card right now. <sighs> okay, that's pretty sweet. 
but we just discarded our Joda. That's fine. This is not super impressive right now. Land. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana. We can actually go treasure map and prismatic bridge. Or we can just play worm coil, which I think is actually probably safer. Simply having a wonderful Christmas night. If we play Giganta, we can add two mana towards this, so we only need eight otherwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we hit a land and play Giganta, we can actually play Apex Devastator off of that. Okay. A whiff is interesting. So I gain six for free? Deal. Okay, that's probably going to get played here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, what up, Unforgiven? Good seeing you, buddy. Um, I'm not going to put that in my graveyard because next time we're going to play Giganta. And then we're coming up on Devastator territory. I don't want to attack here because the, the thing is we don't want to give them too much. Like, okay, so the thing about Fiend Artisan is that you have to do it as a sorcery. So they go into combat, they make a free guy, and then we get to eat the guy. So they can't actually sack it to the Artisan to get another creature. But if we attack, all of a sudden now they get to attack for 2-2, two, two, plus another 2-2, two, two, plus they get to sack their guy to Fiend Darn is in, and it, it kind of snowballs. And, like, I don't think that's worth 6 damage. Yeah, so now they're just going to sack Legion War Boss straight up. Or they're not. Or they are. Worm Coil is nice because they really have to have something that exiles it. Yeah, that's not going to do it right now. Well, they can't sack it because they're going to do it in combat. Like, they, this guy gets made in combat. So, they can't actually sacrifice it because this can only be used as a sorcery. So... So, we know we're drawing Triome. Oh, I see what you're saying. I was like, what? Three, four, five, six, seven. We 
could also play the reverse side of this. Two, three, four, five, six. I mean, they're gonna. I think they're, they're. I mean, they're obviously gonna steal this for four, sack it for like one. Which is pretty bad. So theoretically, we have no incentive not to just attack with the worm coil here. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Let me make up for some lost time. Hope you've been well. Uh, you unforgiven, dude. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate you, man. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this will provide the two. No, Fred's one green. Oh no! So we have to hit. We have to hit a land. Oh, for some reason, I was like, it's gonna make two green because they're colored, dear. Oh, interesting. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. So now they're not going to sack Gigantha, or do they have something that's going to sack it? I don't understand. This is interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fifteen damage? Sure, I'll go to seventeen. I'm sure they have like draw sack a guy draw two or something. What? That's interesting. This I was not expecting. Bottom. Let's get devastating. You gotta keep them devastated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more mana, guys. Come on, make your token, bro. Right, you're not doing this to even find a creature. You're literally just doing it to get Wormcoil off the board and add two three threes. Attacking for an extra two damage there seems terrible. That was a slow snake. Land. <gasps> oh, baby. <laughs> That's the ticket. So let's see if we can do this. One, two, three. Plus, we also have this mana to use for something else if we really need it. One, two. Gum shoes. Are picking Maelstrom Wander one time, dude. Polychronos is good. Picking up the slack, but these two gum shoes. Come on, something. <gasps> oh, baby boys! <laughs> battlefield, battlefield. Is that all five? Yes, right? Pretty bird coming down. Exile a card from your hand face down. Do I have to? I guess I'll do that one. Don't be Marshall Koo. Nahiri, huh? Oh, now we can get rid of Captivating Crew? Oh, that's all I needed. 
Oh boy. So, exile the crew, because that's a dude I don't like. Let's crack Heath. Hope we can find something here. Okay, we can get Forest, then we can get Sacred Foundry with the other one. Shoot this guy with a black, a green, and a white. Um, we need a black source. Oh, we can get a swamp? Oh, that's all I wanted. Jeez. Because now I just want to kill this and attack for like a bajillion. I guess six. I guess we can also... No, we can't play that this turn. We can play it next turn. Uh, Scissors, why don't you just text him that and tell him yourself? So we're either... I'm going to play this face down or I just want to get rid of the snake so I can attack for six. I think we're just getting rid of the snake. One, two... Oh, no. No, I can't even do that, actually. I'm one mana shy, right? Yeah, Okay. So I can play this face. I can just play this, right? One, two, three. Green, black. That's That seems fine. Uh, I've definitely been following the price of reserve list cards, and it is comical, to say the least. I mean, this is fine. Getting six and getting two three threes. I mean, like, we didn't actually affect the, the power we had on board. We actually make it harder for them to block all our guys and they're at ten. Chris, same to what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Watching reserve list prices. Yeah, Chris, you're in a, a unique situation to be able to do it as well. You might say you have to do it. It's your job. So what do they get? A wrangle? Okay, <laughs> that's the end. Uh, now I get to do it for funsies. Oh, well, that doesn't sound very fun. I really gotta go to the bathroom, and I've just kind of like been, kind of like been dealing with it. <sighs> I think this is actually fine. <sighs> I like this guy, but he's triple black, and black is not one of our high, higher, more higher uh, represented colors, so... When you need help, just call M -M -M Michael B.
Well, this hand's not going to do it. But this hand might. I'll keep this. We'll ship the Genesis Ultima Tumus. All right. Well, a second island is not what we wanted there, but you know, if you're if you're trying to play five separate uh, five separate mana colors for a spell, the last thing you want is two lands that only produce the same mana color. It's not ideal. Okay, but now we have something to discard. Generator servant's a little scary. They could drop something big next turn. Oh, well, if it isn't, Mooch will be. Mooch will, Mooch will be. I want to be a Mooch will be. Oh, I forgot I had this, this trail mix over here. Oh. My only problem is that I yield a dried fruit and I'm like left with a bunch of nuts and raisins and I'm like, that's not what I want. Hmm. Here we go. Something's gonna... That's it? What? Oh, are they just putting two hasty creatures on the board? Because that's actually kind of cool. That's not bad. Let's see what we can get here. Savannah, Sacred Foundry. Let's gotta go with Savannah. We already have a black source and a red source and a white source, so... Interesting. Can't block this, don't want to block this. So, two, three, four. These two gum shoes. I think we're actually just going to seize the spoils. It gives us more options for next turn. Like a Pelucranos. See, then we don't hit a land, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh good well they're both one of them is a human so that's okay wow we know to all three games that's pretty cool i really wish i had the same amount of consistency here we go oh good a whiff So we can go one, two, eat to extinction the Winota, go to four. Really, really wish I had a Vraska's Contempt, you know? And then they can pay two and return the Generator Servant. This is actually a very good start. I'm pretty sure we're dead here. Two, three, four, five. We have five mana. God, my kingdom for a wrath of God. I mean, Polychronos will blocks Winota when we take three, four, five. This is going to trigger for this. And they can also get this guy back. So we're taking seven. And if they hit anything... Uh, yesterday is the first day. Cubes don't ever start on Thursday. Um, I kind of just want to exile this, but then we automatically take six. And if they hit anything with three power, then we die. So it's kind of rough. I think that still might be our best option.
because they still might attack the the nahiri i don't know this is six damage they just have to hit a, a creature with three power and i'm pretty sure they could probably just kill us anyway they have two cards in hand yeah all right oh boy whatever what are you gonna do thank <laughs> you well like yeah i'm gonna play the aggro deck my dream deck is aggro Like, I'm playing 10 mana Apex Devastators and 8 mana Maelstrom Wanderers, and this guy's like, 2-1 two, one, two, two, one for 2? Oh, cool. Seems very complicated. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. We had some sweet moments, even if our opponent did not have the most exciting deck, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for supporting the channel. Be sure to subscribe or follow. They both go a long way towards keeping me alive. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.